Hey guys, I'm KK and you're keeping up. The World Cup is in! <coughs> the first game in the tournament, Qatar versus Ecuador. Game began and Rio got involved right away. It stopped Ena Valencia from scoring the opening goal for Ecuador. But it didn't take long before Ena Valencia scored the opening goal for this year's World Cup. After that, Qatar looked so off like headless chickens running around the pitch in circles. Ena Valencia made it the second for Ecuador, scoring a header. Me, I've been practicing my headers. Call me Harry Maguire. There was no coming back for the hosts. It was an easy win for Ecuador and a comfortable win. Full time, 2-0. The World Cup is up and running. In the game between Holland and Senegal, Mendy's big mistakes costed Senegal very much by Frankie de Jong's beautiful ball over the top to Gakpo. Mendy got his fists out like a punching aeroplane. Then he missed it. Gakpo got there first and then he's headed it in the goal. On the second goal, Memphis Depay took a lovely shot. Then it got a rebound from Mendy. Klassens got the goal. And now to Holland. USA kicked off their competition with the youngest team. They went up 1-0 with a Timothy Weyer goal. Wales kept their dreams alive, pushing and pushing and pushing. Then they got a penalty. Gareth Bell took it and they scored it by the captain, Gareth Bell. The three Lions brought back the Premier League to the World Cup with fast-paced attacking football. They looked like a different class to Iran, like the first class to the economy class. Bellingham, Saka, Sterling, Saka again, Rashford and Grealish. They chopped up Iran like a steak. Chop, 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 chop. Even Maguire got an assist. Can you believe it? Jeremy scored both of Iran's goals. He was like a threat going forward. Unfortunately, Iran's goalkeeper had to be substituted for an injury for a clash of heads. <clears throat> Favourites, Argentina. Where do I begin? There? 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 Oh, I got it! Over there! That's Argentina! Magic Messi, 36 games unbeaten. Last chance. The golden team. Golden team! Anker Messi, Anker Messi, Anker Messi! He scores a penalty! Offside! Offside and offside again. Argentina were running out of ideas. What should they do? I think they should be more active. After the second half, Saudi Arabians woke up and they're like, this is a football match. We need to get going. Then they scored by al Sharuri Al-Darasi to make it 2-1. I am so shocked. I cannot believe it. Saudi Arabia have beat Argentina. Lino Messi, what has happened to you? Are Saudi Arabia now the favourites? The next two games I'm going to be telling you about didn't go as planned as it would be. Mexico versus Poland was a fine game to watch, but still ended a nil-nil result. Poland could have won that game, but Lewandowski missed his penalty by a very good save by Ochoa. Denmark Superstars versus a tough fighting Tunisia squad kept this game goalless. Guys, this is the World Cup. We need goals. Do you think I should go in the World Cup? I'm very good at scoring. France's defence of the title was against Australia. Five key players are missing the World Cup for their injury. Like Ingola Kante, Paul Pogba, Kim Bempe, Nkuku and... The Ballon d'Or champion, Karim Benzema! But the squad still looked good. They went one goal down by Australia. But that made Kylian Mbappe furious. <laughs> Giroud scored his 51st and 52nd goals for France. Mbappe and Rabiot got the others in an easy win. The match ended 4-1 to France. The World Cup has took its four years nap 
and it's already woken up and running. Guys, thank you for watching this video of mine. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video. I've been KK and you're keeping up. The World Cup is here!